I'm sorry, sir. I I have an urgent message, sir. I'm sorry I had to come to the corridor. Um, this our barrister here has a disturbing news. What is it? I'm afraid, Chief, that is a bad news. In respect of your case with the federal government. Mr. Barrister, what is it? They've gotten a prosecution witness. So what? So bloody what that they have gotten a prosecution witness? So bloody what? Chief, the witness is armed with a very damaging material. All the documents containing your deals with South Africa and Germany and tax evasion running up to 4 billion naira is with a witness. And that puts us in a tight corner. George. Sir. Only you and I know about our dealings. So, how come? Sir, you are forgetting someone else. Who, George? Sandy Benson, your secretary. Sandra Benson. Sandra Benson. Yes, that is the prosecution witness. I gave her everything. I gave Sandra Benson everything she wanted. Why would she stab me at the back? Why would she stab me at the back? Where is she now? I'm afraid she's working with the police. That's all I know. Sandra Benson. Uh, thank you, lawyer. You can go. Everything is under control. You can go. Thank you. We'll keep you informed, OK? Now listen to me, every one of you. I want Sandra Benson dead. I want you to recover every incriminating material in her possession and kill her. Kill anybody remotely or directly related to her. Did you hear that? Don't come back here and tell me she's not dead yet. Now, all of you, run. Consider yourselves. Move. Sandra Benson, I did my best for you. Kill you. You sent for me, Your Honor. Oh, yes. Good day, Superintendent. Good day, sir. Um, why did you allow your sergeant to expose such an important witness? You know, it could endanger the life of the witness. The federal government is interested in this case. That is why I had to stop the trial. So I can examine the evidences brought before me. They want swift judgment. And that's exactly what I am going to do. So make sure your witness is here on scratch. If anything happens to that lady, we have no case. I'm quite aware of that, sir. In fact, I'm putting her under witness protection program, Your Honor. Um, make sure your best of men are onto her. That will be done, sir. Have a nice day. Superintendent, uh, um, I want to be assured 
that the witness protection program for Miss Sandra Benson here will be tight and intact, just like the judge has suggested. Excuse me? Witness protection program, what does that mean? Madam, it is for your safety. You may not have been informed as to the implications of what you are up to. But we are up to a very strong and powerful side. And we want to forestall any endangering of your life in any way. Endangering? Are you trying to tell me that my life is in danger or something? No, oh, you are witnessing against a powerful syndicate who are highly connected. Right. I can't believe this, Mr. Mike. You never told me all of this. You only said it was an open and closed case, that all I had to do was witness for the government. So, what are you guys going to do? Babysit me around or something? I'm afraid something like that. No, that is not possible. I need my privacy. Madam, it is for your own good. We're talking about issues of life and death. Oh my goodness. How did I even get myself involved in this in the first place? You are doing it for your country. Yes, I'm doing it for my country. I sacrificed my job for my country and now you want me to sacrifice my life? Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, madam. But you know that the police is capable of protecting you. You can be sure of it. Well, let them protect me all they can. I need my liberty, and I don't want them following me around. She doesn't know what she's up against. Well, you know, just make sure that your men are onto her. Mm, it's obvious. Sergeant, so get one of the boys to follow you. Make sure that no harm come to her, but give her a breathing space before the commencement of the detective program tomorrow. Okay? Okay, sir. Just... Sir, so, hello. And you know, I, I think we're going to have a very wonderful time on this case. Of course, of course. Sir. We have to put a nail on their head. Uh, you can always count on us. I trust you. I love it back here, you know. Yeah. So tell me, Greg, why are you not in court? Yeah, you know what I can tell you. I'm gonna leave, man, and when I'm gonna leave, no work. Craig, you have to call to short your leave temporarily now for an urgent assignment. No, no, no. Oh, the first needs you, Craig. Now the case on ground is a very serious one. Yes, and we need the best hands to handle it. Oh, I, I, you are the only one we can trust. Of course. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You know what it is now? Uh, you just come over to the office and let me give you the details. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, I will be expecting you. That's okay for now. Yeah, you know, I I wonder if I ever have a family like you. Settle down. You know, I'm just so tired of this whole thing. Looks like your headquarters just took the word out of my mouth. Man, I told you to quit this shit, didn't I? Um, well. I guess I'll be heading back to the U.S. tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, with my family. Lovely wife and kids. Come yeah. on! Oh, no. But I thought you said you have more days to stay. Yeah, that shit was supposed to be if you were going to stick around. But now, duty calls, so you got to go. Who's going to stick in that empty house <laughs> all alone? <Yeah>. You know? <laughs> Come on, man. You can't leave your homeboy alone. Man, I need you. Yeah, yeah, huh? Who's going to spare with me when you're gone? I know that too, but then you cause you gotta go you know, kick some ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, I was to make it up sometimes. Yeah, 
Well, young lady, I have a feeling we have to move from this place to a hotel. It's not very safe to hang around here. Um, in that case, I have to stop over at my place, pick up a diskette, some clothes, then send my house girl away. Uh, you must understand, you're not safe on your own. Yeah. Um, you're going to come with me, right? Sure. Shall we? Right. Where's the bag? I think I have to drop in the car or something. Some men came looking for you today. Some men? Yes. What, what, what did they say? They just wanted to know when you're going to be back. Oh. Okay. Did you, did you pick anything or something? Yes, I was about cooking rice. Okay, just make it for two, okay? okay. Are you sure it's not the same people? Well, it may be, or... Um, they may not be the ones. But see, you don't have to worry yourself about anything. How do you know my house? Okay. Um, so what is it that you really know about this as one is? Well, um, like you know the court the, the case is in court. He was being prosecuted over allegation of transport of fraud. He was arrested in April with a briefcase containing some missed document linking a South African company with a fake Nigerian company at the Motala Mohammed International Airport. Fake? Yes. So I, I found out that a, I found out that is an arbitrary firm that claims to deal with communication and infotech appliances. So what I did was to make contact with the Nigerian Cooperative Affairs Commission, which confirmed the arbitrariness of such a company. Then after, when I was looking through the briefcase on the document, I found a link to a website where I discovered an outstanding deal, which I used to strike with a big high-tech bank in Switzerland. That's incredible. 
I think because of all this... Uh, Seth, I guess it's because of all this evidence, you know, they said I should come over in court and testify, so... It's incredible. Oh, sorry, I have to excuse me. Let me change into something more comfortable. Clean up or something. All right. Clean something comfortable. Okay. All right. Yeah. Please hurry up, because I'll still be a robot. That's good morning. Um, do you have vacant rooms here? Yes, sir. Um, do you have any floor that is vacant? Um, yes, sir. What floor is that? Second floor. Good. Uh, I'd like to take all the rooms on the second floor. Huh? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, That's the same, eh? Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, something must here. Please, on no condition, should anybody come up to that floor without you calling me first. Okay? okay? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, goodness? Yeah. Come here. Okay. Now, you stay here. All right? Remain alert. Okay? So, you okay. Okay. Thank you. Trace to Swank Guest House. Yes. Jump. That's right. Option D prime. You get it? Now run for it. 
It's time to spill for me, my dear. That lady and the two gentlemen that wait upstairs. Could you just show us where they are? I don't know who you're talking. Stop, please. Where are they? Stop, No. Turn around. Show us. Move. Who, 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 sir? Oh, no! Oh, oh. oh. Sorry about that, but could you show us now? Yeah, yeah, it's a good floor. Let's go. Move. Some to eat? Like I said, just calm down, okay? Everything is under control now. Alright?
Um, well, are you sure you don't want to eat something? Uh, no. Oh, jeez. Well, the bathroom is over there, and um, listen, I'll be in the next room, okay? And um, you're very okay, all right? I will Wait. see. Wait. Uh, you want to leave me? Uh, listen. See, they want to kill me. Don't you get it? You're very safe, okay? Uh, please, they want to kill me. I can't stay in this room alone. Please, I'll, I'll slip on the floor. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do, but just... Just don't, okay. just don't leave. Okay, fine. Calm, calm, I'm sorry. Calm down, okay. My men are all over the place. I, I got somebody out here, somebody at reception. Nothing is going to happen. Everything is under control, okay? What do you want? I, I, I bought a drink for you, sir. Something to drink.
Uh, Blue Marine coming for Crazy Horse 2. Blue Marine coming for Crazy Horse 2. Yeah, Blue Marine received Crazy Horse 2. Now they clear over. Please, I need backup urgently, please. Coming. Yeah, Blue Marine received, received the message over. At the moment, we don't have enough men in the office. But I'll send Corporal Tony Ibe immediately for reasons. Over. Um, somewhere around um, Ikoyi West. Ikoyi West, uh, to be precise, uh, Royal Ark Hotels. All right, over. Yes, sir. The identity of the man is one Inspector Craig Douglas from the Special Unit in the headquarters. In fact, we intercepted a call from the radio we recovered from one of the policemen. And the Craig is calling for a backup, sir. Get us the frequency range of the PIB communication walkie talkie and adjust it to our own frequency distribution system, okay? Yes, sir. I use it to locate the sergeant. I'm convinced he moves around with the target. Uh, sir, what about the backup? They need a backup to protect the girl. Yes, sir. Give them a backup. <laughs> <laughs> give them a backup. Yes, give them a backup. <laughs> oh, could you please give us a uh, profile of what is happening or full details? Over. Oh well, uh, please, whatever. Just, just send somebody over here, please. I, I desperately need someone. Please, please. Any kind of backup would be very appreciated right now. Okay? Over. I see you later, Akira. Over. Thank you. Thank you. Over now. All right. Am I? Oh, Dad. Am I going? To... Am I going to continue running like this? Come. Just relax. I'll be somewhere. I need to drink something. I need to eat something. I'm, don't don't worry. I'm I'll, I'll get. I'll get.
Yeah, you got it. Yes, sir. What is the situation? Sir. Well, we haven't been able to eliminate the target, sir. I mean, she has powerful police protection around her. You're listening to that. Look at you know we're supposed to be in court. And if that gate takes the dog, we are finished. The lawyer said we may spend more than 20 years in jail. And you were here telling me of one efficient policeman. With all your high-tech and sophisticated guns, you mean you can't even eliminate a fly? Please. Now listen to me. If you can't do this job, let me know so I can get someone more efficient. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? I mean, we intend to stay in this country and do more business and make more, more, more money. You understand? No music girl is going to write the last chapter of our lives in this country. No way. You understand? Yes. Uh, Chief, um, let us see if we can buy the inspector over. You know, there is nothing money cannot do in this country. Good, good. You know, people like money. Yeah. I mean, a little money here and there makes things work. George! Sir. You got yourself a job. <laughs> really? That's right, George. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Sir. I got myself a job. <laughs> Are you enjoying the food? Yeah, I've been less appetite. It must be because you're tensed up. The food looks good to me. I'm so scared. I could tell you there's no reason to be. Help is on the way, okay? Everything will be alright. When am I gonna get my freedom? You know when? Soon. The case will be over in a couple of days. See, I told you. I just. Shh. Just. Okay. Yes, where is the. Coming. Good day, sir. Um, um, Corporal Tony Hebe from the headquarters. Who sent you? Um, Superintendent Glenn Bogo. Why are you here? On Renaissance. On um, Sandra Benson. Yes. This must be. Our oh, pleasure. Yeah. So, who was the instruction? Yes, I've been ordered to uh, relocate you to a more secure place for adequate security. Where is this? Um, or should it south? Or should it south? Yeah. Yeah, hurry up. We don't have much time. Okay. It's okay. That is a very fine place. All right. There, yeah, no problem. More more security. Another place yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You'll just get it back. Yeah. You know, we don't have time, you know. We don't have time. Yeah. It's okay. All right. Okay. Look, it's, it's very okay. Just just relax, okay? Okay. This is the perfect place. Come on. Come on. Just go. Just go. I'll 
catch you. I'm sensational. Uh, negative K, nothing further. Just uh, take Cambi in the corner. Just uh, take Cambi in the corner. What? You said what? Uh, negative K, nothing further. Just uh, take Cambi in the corner. Uh, take Cambi in the corner. Somewhere around Agitimbi, um, Blue Bay Hotel. You know where it is? Uh, negative, okay, nothing further. Just, uh... <sighs> We're getting authentic backup. The guy that just called is one of my colleagues, very trusted colleague. So no, just, no. just relax. No text messages. If there will be any phone calls, I'll have to make them. Okay? It's no problem. All right, you sit down. Let me use myself. Excuse me. All right. Hey. told me to do that. Now listen to me. 
I am not here for foolish argument. Just hand it over to me for safekeeping. That's all. No, Sarge. <laughs> she keeps the discount. Besides, she takes instructions from no one but me. Yeah. And I'm giving you the booze. Yeah, no problem. Good. That will do it. Uh oh damn. Hold on now. Four and forty-five. Whew. What's your make? Let me let me see. What's the make of your gold? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good old uh, revolver. Uh, very reliable. Mm. All right, there you go. Good man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you sit down. You sit down. Ah, what? You sleep there? You lie in bed there? And I'm just cool here. Those good days. You remember those good old days in training camp? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of drills. <laughs> I think it's coming in handy now. Yeah, you know, in those days, don't forget you were a rookie. Not in your life. <laughs> <laughs> life. But then I was like a pop pop poof poof man. I was like a fighting fire. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> well, I feel like sleeping. Stupid. 
speaking. Now let me have this God. No way. My days of goodness have expired. I read the name. That is the name. Like, we will all the year until they arrive and take the girl. Yeah, if you like, you can be a hero. But remember, they are angels. They will hurt you if you don't fuck up. I'm going to blow up their hands myself. Yeah. And yeah, I my tongue. You know something? Just look at me. Just look at me. Because you are dumb. When I saw the grave, I'm sure you, if you're smart, you notice that um, the gun you're carrying is slightly weightless. She boxes me up. Where do you think I got the money I spend on you? Uh huh. Now I know why you all over her. Ah, look, let me tell you something. You better go and look for a job if you want to be with me. You can't live on her forever. Besides, I can't live with a guy that lives on a woman. 
City South. What? You heard me. I guess you must be BJ, right? Yes. And who the hell are you guys and what do you want? We would like to see your girlfriend. <laughs> My girlfriend? No. Your original girlfriend. Sandy. Oh, Why do you want to see Sandy for? Well, as you can see, Sandy is not here. Then take us to her. Don't know where she is. And if you guys will excuse me, I'm busy right now because I don't. Uh, I don't... Trouble. A couple of mean looking guys came looking for you and they got me beaten up. Who's BJ? Are you friendly? Uh, whatever you discuss, don't divulge where we are, okay? Hey, I'm enjoying to reach you. Didn't I want you not to do that police work? Yeah. Now look at what they did to me all because of you. Listen, darling, I, I am so sorry, okay? I'm very, very sorry. I didn't know they were going to be this brutal. Look, Sandy. I hate inconveniences. They are threatening to kill me already and I wouldn't want to have anything to do with you again. It's over me though. PJ, wait, wait, wait. What are, you, what are you talking about? You can't do this to me. What? Oh, see, 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 I'm not asking for you to stick out your neck for me. All I want you to do is just stay by me. Stop. I told them I don't know where you are and I don't want to know where you are. Oh, I get it, right? This is Jessica. Now you finally find a good reason to talk me for her, isn't it? You can think whatever you like. Enjoy your heroism. I don't want to die young. I still have my whole life ahead of me. Listen to me, BJ. But don't, don't, don't hang up. Listen, listen. Listen to me.
I wish it never started. I wish it never happened in the first place. I feel like I'm a disaster. A lot of lives have been lost and this whole thing doesn't want to come to an end. I don't think it's um I don't think it's your fault. I just feel that you weren't warned enough about the implications of your decision. I guess you should have been given options to decide on which way to go. Are you trying to sound like my father? You always know the right thing to say in every situation. Yeah. I feel like I could tell you everything about myself. Well, miss your father. so much. He was a really, really nice man, you know. He was an engineer. He died in a plane crash 10 years ago. But my mom, she grieved over him until, until she died last year. Here I am, the only child. Sorry. So sad. I know that your that your PJ guy really messed up. Forget him. He's not but a jerk. He's not man enough, you know. But a few times I've been with you, I've come to realize what caring is all about. No, don't get carried away with all the macho stuff. It was all in the line of duty. No, no, no. I think, I think it's all about emotional control. You know, I know I read sometimes, and most guys must have fled up by now. And I always acted as if it was everybody's fault except mine. I guess I just wanted to be the hero or something. Well, you know, doing badly. For an amateur. You see, all I need from you is courage. Alright? Be strong. The case comes up tomorrow. Between now and then, we must survive. Do you really think we're going to survive? I mean, they seem more armed than the police. Except for very tough cops like you. I know if not you, I could have been history right now. You see, whoever guards without God being there is wasting his or her time. I'll be here is because God has decided so. So just relax, God is in control. Now, it's time to go to bed. We'll have a long day tomorrow. Oh, just try and get some rest, okay? I'm gonna end it there. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'll just keep it down here for you. Okay. Why aren't you coming to the bed? No, I know. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna shave, sweetie. Really. No, I'm okay for you. This is my duty post. I just want to say one thing. Thank you. Have a nice night.
can't stop me. Try me. You'll see. Find you. No hiding. I'll catch you. I'm sincere. So original The Bernatural You smooth talking criminal Ah, oh, you smooth talking criminal Sandy, wake up. Sandy, wake up, wake up. Oh. We have to go. No, God. Come on, come on, come on, wake up. What we have time to go. is it, huh? It's about 5 30 in the morning. Damn, he's so sorry. He's early, okay? Let's sleep for something. You know those guys, they might be here any moment, so we must keep one step ahead of them. Alright? Oh, come on, let's go. Sleep. Just go freshen up and let's get out of here. I know, but it's just too early, okay? I won't sleep. Light, I just, I don't know, just give me a few time, give me like 30 minutes, I'm gonna be out or something. Oh. I am worried about what's going on now. I mean, we've not heard from these boys, and the court is tomorrow. Relax. I'm in control. to do is call her up to the beach. 
Once we see her, you collect your money, and then you leave the rest to us. What do you think? I can't betray her. PJ, think about the money. Don't be stupid. It's a lifetime opportunity. Don't call me your huh? In cash. Oh, come on, that's a hell of money, man. Why did you say so before? I don't have any use for her. <laughs> it's a deal, that is isn't it? Sure, why not? Good. Call now, right now. And you collect your money, okay? Is he okay now? Uh, almost. God, is it hot? Hello. Hey, hey, who is there? Um, it's BJ calling again. Don't forget what I told you last time. Don't uh, disclose your way out, okay? Alright. Hey. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I mean, the hardest way I'd be here to you. I hope you have understood you when you needed me most. Please find a way your heart to forgive me. I can't, I can't believe you could do that to me. Honey? The most important thing is to get you out of the country now before it is too late. What are you talking about? Besides, don't tell that policeman about this. Meet me at Palm Beach. I'll be waiting with a car. Together we can drive to the border and hide in the neighboring country until the heat dies off. No, 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 no. baby. I, I think he, he's been protecting me all the while. I think he's even going to help us get out. No, 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 no. Let's see, let's see. Even the police are looking for him. He has been bored of where his money is. What are, you, what are you talking about? He took you there for the river to their hands. Okay. Uh, no, just... Okay. I'll be there. Yes, I'll, 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 be, I'll be there. <laughs> but you also acting. It should be in the movies, boy. <laughs> she bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Where is the money? You collect 500,000 naira. You collect the balance when you deliver her to us. Cool, man. Let's go. You know, take him and give him a half a million naira. Right now. Yes, Chief. Take my hand and walk with me. This way. It's over. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's over.
Sandy, can you help me with a little engine oil there? Sandy? Please, can you help me with a... Sandy? Sandy? Is he okay now? Uh, almost. God, it's a hot. Hello. Hey, hey, who is there? Um, it's BJ Colin again. Don't forget what I told you last time. Don't uh, disclose your way, okay? Hi. I am so, so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I really had this way I behaved to you. How could I have this so that you when you needed me most? Please find a way you had to forgive me. I couldn't, I couldn't believe you could do that to me. Honey, the most important thing is to get you out of the country now before it is too late. What are you talking about? Besides, don't tell that policeman about this. Meet me at Palm Beach. I'll be waiting with a car. Together we can drive to the border and hide in the neighboring country until the heat dies off. No, 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 baby, I, I think... He's been protecting me all the while. I think he's even going to help us get out. No, 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 no. Let me tell you a secret. Even the police are looking for him. He has been brought over by the Asmanis. Oh, what, are you, what are you talking about? He took you there for the rivet to their hands. Okay. Uh, no, just... I'll be there. Yes, I'll, 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 be, I'll be there. <laughs> but you are so active.
It should be in the movies, boy. <laughs> she bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Where is the money? Do you collect 500,000 naira? Do you collect the balance when you deliver her to us? Cool, man. Let's go. You take him and give him a half a million naira. Right now. Yes, Chief. Take my hand and walk with me. This way. It's over. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It's over. Sandy, can you help me with a little engine oil there? Sandy? Please, can you help me with the... Sandy? Sandy? I see it. Oh, oh, my God. What happened to you? See, I am so sorry. Some group of people came there looking for me. Like they want to keep me and stuff, but don't really? worry. Everything will be okay, okay? Okay. Hey, bitch, ass bitch. Run away, bride. I thought your dress is going to be as long as the dress smoke, but you fell for this. Why not? She's in love. I can't believe you did this to me, Peter. Hey, 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 hang on. One cool million. <laughs> you don't have to make me do anything. You did. Peter, you did this hey, to me. Hey, 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 what do you think? Down. Where did this go? I don't have it. <laughs> the bitch said she doesn't have it. <laughs> now I've got two options for you, baby girl. Option A, you give me the discount, I spare your life. Option B, if you don't, I won't hesitate to kill you. Now I'm gonna count to five, after which I will end your miserable life. <laughs> two, three.
That's the only one here. Now you drop down. Drop your weapons. Drop your weapons. I'll enter with you. Let her go immediately. Well, well, well. Guess who came for the party? Let her go. Detective. You see, detective, when next you decide to use a human as your shield, make sure you use someone useful for the society. <laughs> Jessica, I won't believe what happened to me now. I just escaped that. Those fools almost got me killed. I thought you were just to take them there and collect the money. Yes. So where is the money? It's not what you can think of. I said I almost got killed and you're here talking of money. Are you there for something? Please, don't pour out your frustration on me. Ah, so what do I tell my friends now? I've already told them I'm getting a car. So what do I tell them? Oh yeah? Have you told your friends? Your friends are in the car. Look here, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn about your friends. I don't give a damn about you. I don't give a damn about the car. What are you care for? Look, I'm getting my car. You better go anywhere, anywhere to get that money. I'm getting my car. I don't even know what I'm doing in this house. I'm leaving this Jessica! Place. To hell with you! Damn!
I'm really sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry for what I, what I did. Thanks for saving my life. Apology not very necessary. I just wish this whole case would blow past so that I can get up with my life. Chance to eliminate that girl. You wasted it. Now get out of my sight and make sure you look at that girl. Yes, boss. You moron. Sir, it's time to be realistic. The way things are going, I don't think we may be ready for the court. Well, what do you suggest? I suggest we transfer all available um, cash to a Swiss account. That way nobody can touch it. I mean, the only thing they can do is to freeze your local account and seize your asset. And with that, you can wheel everything to your family. to have a child of my own, but certainly not adoption. But, but sir... George! Shut up! Yes, boss. Now, you see the negative influence you have on the kid. I'm complaining, Mom. I'm supposed no, to be... No, what do you want? I'm complaining, Mom. I'm supposed to be a family here. Whether your husband likes it or not. You are not one of us. Our daddy hates you. Look at the way he smells. Will you shut up? Pow! Gina, how dare you talk to your brother like that? He's not my brother. Will you shut up and stop insulting him? Now, who the hell is that? And how dare you talk to my daughter like that? Amelia, what is this thing doing in my house? I'm sorry, darling. Things happen again. Um, PJ, please. You have to leave now. I came to see your mother. I know your problem is you're broke and jobless as usual. You know what? 
Now, take this money and leave. Now, I don't want your money. Now, what the hell do you want? To see my mother. Now you've seen her leave. If not joke, me wanna stop her. I don't want to do wrongs with her again. You know, almost won't mod me for the place. Who myself did do I not see? Hey, will you shut up and get serious for once? Fiji, what's your problem, man? Listen, all we need you to do is deliver this girl to us and you get your cash. Pronto. True? I'm gonna be like saying I want more this paper. Hey. Whatever your name is, uh, no job. Or DJ. We don't get involved in a mess like that, all right? You just play ball and uh, you get your money. I ain't playing no ball. You're playing no ball? Sure. Now listen. Talk any other cock and bull here, yeah, I'll drop you. I swear to God, I'll kill you here. Hey, the police. How's it doing? BJ, BJ, your man. I've been the way through. Well, let's get out of here. Hope you don't do that. I hope you pay the way we are. So what, BJ? Me when I meet my guy, this one I just. This one I put. I'll be like, they don't want this one. Do you know this? Do you know this? Remember knowing him anyway. How come he knows you? <laughs> That's great boys. No, I don't mind these people. All these Syrian go boys. Go to school, they won't go to school. Just be from Blake. No, they don't the smoke in those things. Let's go to the Of the case, I don't want to go along with it. I'm just, I'm just being a good citizen, you know. She did it right. But I don't think she has a chance at this point. I'm not going to kill me. No, no. 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 Where are we going now? Don't worry. I have a game plan. 
We're just going to drive straight to the office. All right. I will see my superintendent. I'm sure he'll have some answers. Okay. Or a wife or something? No, 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 none of the above. Why? Well, um, the kind of job I do has not given me space to think about such things. Besides, I'm, I'm scared of having a family. Hey, come on, what's your reason? Well, um, you know, I've sent away so many criminals. I mean, you've put so many criminals behind bars. So a lot of them are sworn to get even. So, me, I can protect myself. But if I should have a family, they'll be very vulnerable. No, I don't agree. That is not a good reason not to waste a family, okay? My father once said to me that it's not because it's cloudy, it doesn't mean you don't have to go to the farm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you're serving another girl. Hmm? Let me put you the kind of job I do. Will you want to marry a man like me? Ah, <laughs> oh, please get out of here. You know, yeah. You're crazy, man, you know? I tell you, this Ikomo is just a... Uh... Wow, but it's good. But I'm thinking I need one more for that. I didn't tell him about you. And ever since he got to find out about you, our relationship is no longer the same. I'm so ashamed. Oh yeah? Ashamed. Ashamed of who me. Oh boy. No, oh, BJ. Of myself. Look, I love you, my son. I don't want to lose my marriage. It's the only thing I have in life now. Mom, what I asked from you is just little money for me to get out of town. Some men are trying to kill me. Kill you? 
little money. Just give me this little money so that I can run away from you. You can, you can, you can stay with your husband and enjoy with your kids and... and BJ, don't talk like this. You know I love you very much. By the way, who wants to kill you? Why? What did you do? How come? Mom, mom, the less you know about it, the better. I mean, give me this money. Let me find, I mean, no, let me go to the north and relocate and, and start a new life. What about Jessica? Jessica is a forgotten story. Jessica wants money. She, she, she says I should, I, should, I, should, I should get a car for her. I couldn't buy a car for her then. She dumped me. BJ, I told you to give me some time I... to raise some money for you to start a business. Hi, mom. The only time that you are going to wait for now is that in the next 24 hours, you either get my dead body here. DJ, why would I'm anyone going, want to kill you? I'm going to go see first. The trials of Shit Aswani continue tomorrow with the prosecution witness under a light police protection after an attempt was made to assassinate her. The police has not been able to confirm <laughs> who and why an attempt was made on her. But fingers are pointed to what is the connection. Thank you very much. Son of a bitch! No, 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 BJ! Put on the TV! I don't want to listen to that man talk. He's a criminal. That man, a criminal? Have you met him? Yes, that's Chief Aswane, the same man that wants me dead. We have to meet him. Oh, that man is dangerous. He's wicked. Did and he is mean. Did you listen to me? There's something I must tell you. That man is cruel. You think he can listen to anybody? Twenty years ago, while I was still in college, I and my friends attended a party at a rich and a famous man's house, a rare privilege for us then. During the party, I walked to the swimming pool area to take some fresh air. This rich man walked up to me. I was irresistibly pretty. He was rich and powerful. I intended to attract him. But it turned out worse than I planned. He practically raped me. What? That man raped you? He gave me a huge amount of money to shut me up. That made me to hate him more. I wanted to go to the police. Why didn't you call the police? Why would you allow somebody to just humiliate you like that? Well, my friends discouraged me. I don't think this is a I don't think this is a good thing for me to listen to. Because he's a police patriot. He won't listen to me. A few weeks later, I missed my period. Again, my friends advised that I should have bought it. 
that if he hears of it, he might kill me or harm me. I could not get to him either. I had the baby and had to keep him. Up to this moment, I'm telling you this story. I still don't have the courage to confront him. So, how does all this affect you? I mean, somebody raped you, you could not call the police. I mean, tell me where the person is, let me go and get him and fix him. Sorry about. I mean, if that man is my father, that means I am rich. How oh, come all this why my father is a billionaire and I've been dying in poverty? I am rich. Mom, I am rich. This is good news, Mom. This is good news. This is good news. Mom. This is good news. This is good news. This is good news, Mom. This is good news. This is good news. Mom, let's go and see him immediately. Okay, mom, promise me one thing. Tomorrow morning, first thing, we are going to see him. Okay. I am rich! I am rich, mommy! Mommy! I am rich! <laughs> Yes. 
Jessica, am I glad to have you or what? Well, I'm not. I just came to pick up my few things here. And that's it. Guess what, Jessica? What? Ah! I have good news for you. I am rich. I'm not just a millionaire, but a billionaire. Are you daydreaming or something? No, Jessica. You know that chief, Chief Aswani? Uh-huh, Chief Aswani. That's the man that wanted to kill you. Exactly. What about him? He is my father. Your father? <laughs> well, my mother just left here now. And she just told me, though she, he doesn't know me, my mother just told me that he is my real father. Though he doesn't know it yet. Are you serious? Jessica, do you know what that means? I am rich! Yes! We are rich! 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 We are you can home? Yeah. What can I tell you what? I'm gonna buy you a license, girl. Hey, Boru, look who is there. <laughs> BJ, talk about the devil yeah. and he's here. What's up? Well, that's not the way to talk to your future boss. Well, I was about coming to your place. No need for that. Because I'm here to take over. What? I want to see the chief. Uh, well, about your money, right? Something more than that. Asin, walk with me. No, no. Come on! How are you? Fine, ma'am. Um, where is BJ? Ah, he's been waiting for you since. He just left for Jefaswani's place. My, my God. Alone? Yes, alone. But, ma, is it true that Jefaswani is his father? Do you know where he lives? Um, yes, I think I have his address. Please, I must get there immediately. Okay, just leave him there. Hey, my girl. I'm going to go to the food. 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 What are you going to go to the food? You don't forget what I tell you last week. You remember the problem with this again last week. I don't use the money to solve the problem now. But my guy could down wait first. Next week he gets some money where I expect. I will give you half of the money, 50-50 now. Okay. You know this BJ guy knows put the wall and this guy and nobody now. This guy and nobody. I don't arrange this food way there here. 20 card or tapia apia. And the guy check out. Just disconnect the guy just like that. So many of you to ask question. The 500,000. Which he give you, say so we'll give this guy. Help of he deliver the get to us. You don't use arrange the entire problem with him last week. But I can't see good poison for this food. You be mugu. See this, see my guy. You be mugu. Why you talk like madam? See my guy. You. Who be your guy? Come, come on, sorry, sir. Who be your guy? Come. At you this, my at, guy. Mm, at this junction, at this point in time, I think God beg you, I not be your guy again. You not my guy. No, call me your guy. You not my. You chop the guy and he still won't kill him. I don't be your guy, I beg. Peel out. I don't be your guy. Peel out. Yeah. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. I mean, fuck off. Next week, you will come beg me money again. Hey, my God. We'll go see you. I know the hour first, then. Hey, thank you.
Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love your ways, you know. Uh, really? Your ways struck me, man. Really? You know, when you came, I looked at you and you look like somebody who's taking a hard walk across the desert. So, you know, I got you this to eat. You know, I don't want niggas. No, 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 hold on, hold on. How can you read my mind? A nigga's gotta eat to eat now. No, no, no. You didn't read my mind, man. <laughs> Thanks. Man, hey, go on. So, what's this? Song you were singing outside about you being my boss's son. By the time I'm done with this food, man, I'm gonna be a real big surprise, man. I'm, I'm kind of hot. Let me put you. You will surprise me. Yeah, a very big one, man. man. Like I got a surprise for you. <laughs> be eat, man. No, listen up. Uh -huh. When I hear my father's business, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you my number second. You make me your second? How about that? You made it? Oh, that's a surprise. I can't wait for that. No, 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 you're my man. Let's see the man. <laughs> yeah. One more thing. You know, I want you to make a decision here. Whatever you want, I'll get it for you. You water, juice, and whatever. Anything. Um water. Water. So sure. I want you to make that decision. Water. Just water. Water. So sure. I'll get you water. Nigga, eat. Finish that food. But homie, yeah, so nigga eat, man. Man, bro. years ago. You may not remember, but I know you. Listen, woman. As you can see, I'm a very busy man. I have no time for retrospects. Do you remember the young girl you took advantage of? <laughs> Took advantage of. Uh, 
Are you listening? That's, that's putting it mildly. Oh. The young girl you raped. <laughs> but you know, George, that happens all the time. <laughs> yes, it really does. Yes. And I have a child out of it. <laughs> You have what? I have a child for you, Chief. A male child. Now listen, woman. Let me tell you. If you are going into the car business, you understand? Go and learn properly and go to that point. You see, this man is one of the most intelligent human beings on earth. You cannot call me. Now, out! Now listen to me, Chief. You got away with it 20 years ago. But now, no way. Neither am I looking for where to throw my son. I am a respectably married woman with kids. I'm just doing all this because of your son!
us, bro. I'd like to share some words with you. Do I know you guys somewhere? Uh, not really, but we know you. Um, you are the prosecution lawyer in charge of the Aswani case, right? Oh, that. So how may I help you? Good. We have a message for you from Chief Aswani. Mm. He's willing to make you an offer you would never reject as long as you swing the case in his favor. Name your prize and it's yours. Every man can be bought. We all have our prize. I'm sorry. I don't have a prize. And I don't sell out my clients. So if you don't mind... Bro, you've got no choice. It's either you dance to a tune or you get a bullet. Simple as that. Name your prize or you die. Simple as A, B, C. That's all. So, how much is he willing to offer? How much are you willing to collect? Let's discuss it now. It's a deal. Mr. Craig, this is Chief Aswani. You and your girl have something that belonged to me, yes. I want it back. You think money's everything, huh? Don't be a fool, Craig. You're just like every other policeman on the street who will crack soon or later when you get tired of being a hero. On the side to face realities of our life, money, they say it, answer it all things. Loyalty is nothing. <laughs> Craig, I'm offering you five million naira for the discount. And uh, just for you to turn your back on the girl for five minutes. It will be enough for us to do what we want to do. Craig, are you there? How do I get the money? Good. Now you are being very reasonable. <laughs> uh, you know the National Museum. If you get to the National Museum, enter from the front gate, walk down 500 meters, turn to your left, another 500 meters, there's a hut there. Go into the hut and your money will be waiting for you right in there. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Go, so, Mr. Craig. He bought it to climb and sink her. <laughs> Look at him. Yes, boss. You know what to do, okay? Come on, jump to it. <laughs> <laughs>
stop me, try me, you'll see, I'll kill you, I'll find you, no hiding, I'll catch you, I'm sensational. to the chief superintendent, please. I, I, I must talk with him right away. Uh, negative, okay. Nothing further. Just uh, take care of me in the corner. Look, okay, I'll be right, I'll right over, okay? I'm coming to the office right now. Are you in the office? Yeah. Showtime's over. Boss, sir. Can't fool me. Can't trick me. Can't stop me. Call, call the phone. I mean, use the walkie talkie. I'll be on to you, alright? I'll be right here. I'll be right, uh, I'm going straight to the office now. Okay? Alright? All right. It'll be cool. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Alright? Well, there's no around I'm sitting. I'm sitting for him. What was the situation report to me? What is going on? Listen, okay. In that case, um, I'll, I'll talk with you when no, you're no, 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 no. I'll do it with you. Okay. I'm sorry, Craig. I have to put you under arrest for insubordination. You what? Tell me you're joking. Take him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moyo. 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 The attendant asked me to act spontaneously as far as this case is concerned. And that's why things have been the way they are. You don't have to do this. You leave that to Ross. I'll place another officer on the duty. But the girl in question, her life is in danger even as I speak with you. You can't do this to me.
Hold up, hold up. Craig, I hope you know the implication of what you're doing. Ask them to uncuff me immediately. Craig! I hope you know the implication of what you're doing. I won't repeat myself. Craig! You are cutting an office out with a gun in the office. Hurry up, my friend. Good. Moyo. What are you doing? I'm sorry I have to do this. What? You know you and I are good friends. But I must do what I have to do. I'm sorry I have to do this, okay? Now move that way, move that way, move that way quickly! Moyo, I'm really sorry about this, okay? We'll talk later. Greg! I'm going to have a full report on this! You'll see! I see one boy, one boy, they for sure I'm going. Right? Eh? The boy wear black shirt like this. I see them go to work, this black shirt like this. Uh, I beg, uh, help, me, help me stop taxi, I beg. I beg, uh, just help me, I beg. Help me, help me stop taxi, I beg. Help me hold this one. Okay. I beg, too quick, eh? Where do they go? Uh, I, I go, um, uh, uh, from... Superintendent. Yes, sir. I warned you that this guy's security should be paramount. Of course, sir. That's why I shifted it to just seven days. Look at your time now. In a short while, the court will resume the trial. They are not here. Meaning something is wrong somewhere. In fact, sir, I don't know what to say, sir. I assigned one of my best men as far back as witness protection program is concerned. Uh, and suddenly things went out of hand and I have not heard from him for more than 24 hours now. If I may speak, sir, um, I'm afraid. I doubt if they are still alive. This man offered me a huge amount of money to swing judgment in their favor. How could they be so desperate? Desperate? Desperate, your own noise and understatement. They are very, very desperate. And they can go at any length to get what they want. However, the two of you may go back to the courtroom. I'm afraid I have no choice but to dismiss the case for lack of evidence.
I told you. I told you, Miss Sandy Benson. Nobody messes with us. We are the untouchable. In the next 24 hours, our $20 million will be storming the Swiss account. Now, where is the discount? No, no, it doesn't matter. If we kill her now, all the evidence is wasted. Kill her!
George, yes. this brother too early, you can come in. But George, one of the things I keep warning you about is... You are under arrest for defrauding the federal government of Nigeria of 4 billion naira, killing police officers and innocent citizens, and attempted murder of Mr. the person. I want you arrested. Put your hand down. It's all right. That's it. Sign on your heart. Okay? Take it easy. Put your hands down. You're right. I want you arrested. And in fact, your man here has confessed on our tapes. Yes, uh, Osi. He asked me to do everything I did. In fact, I, I, I was just acting under his instruction. Of He is my boss. Can I go now, please? please. No, 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 no. You can't go. Of course, you are an accomplice. You're going with it. Now, boys, I'll cop them. Yes, sir. Make it snap it. George, I regret not having a gun here. I would have killed you, shot you in cold blood, but never mind. I still kill you with my own hands. That's two legs. Now move. Move, shut up, Come on, move, 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 move. Oh. Well, I'm very lousy at stuff like this, um, but I hope you manage, please. Can I say that I'm impressed or something? Thank you. <laughs> well, it's the second best thing I know how to do. I look more stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, please, please. Life imprisonment they gave to the Asmanians is really okay, considering the lives they were lost and all that. You see, yes, I think um, justice was done. Life imprisonment is good enough. But you know what? I don't really want to talk about the Asmanians. Okay, so let's not be on the evening. <laughs> I want to talk about you. Me? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? Mm, about how ugly you look. <laughs> Definitely, you know. Don't mind me. You're protesting our person. Most beautiful. You know, um, I'm not very good at things like this. 
I I know we talked about me, family. <laughs> I know I'm very scared at the thought of raising a family. But since I met you, I don't know if you consider a lousy guy like me worthy enough to to be your friend in a real sense. Stop 